because he actually catches the fish. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll see what happens. Stand back, everyone. Right, right. Here we are, me and Clayton. Just arrived at Parco del Brenta for our week's fishing head. Uh, time to now get set up. There's a few guys on this week. Hopefully, me and Clayton are going to extract a few from this swim here, which is swim 22. And we're also fishing peg two, which is directly behind, which is just over here. We'll show you around the swim a bit later. But for now, we just want to get everything up because the weather at the moment is it's nice fishing weather. A little bit cold, but overcast. We're going to try and capitalise early because it's later it's in the week. It's rain, isn't it? Yeah, a bit of rain later, but in the week the sun's coming out a bit. So we're not sure where it's going to fish. But at the moment, it's good low pressure. A few fish have been coming out. And we're going to now get set up. So we'll see you all in a bit. Just want to just have a quick rundown. It's now uh, Sunday, Sunday sort of early morning. Yeah, still a bit dark, but the sun will be up soon. And uh, we just want people to know that we've, we've set ourselves a target. We, we've sort of more target fishermen. Yeah, you know? that's it. We've not come for big numbers. You know, someone asked us, you know, are you that good that you can pick a carp out and catch one of a certain size? Now, we feel that we can tinkle around with our rigs and produce carp of certain sizes yeah so somebody phoned us up and said could you catch a 41 pound carp so that is basically that's the our mission wasn't that it? is the mission that's for, mission, for yeah. this trip at the moment yeah so as it stands at the minute we're going to get the rods all out get set up get a bit of bait I'd, in. I'd like a sturgeon you want a sturgeon as well and i'd like i'd like a catfish right okay so right we've just up the ante a bit now because yeah. now it's going to be a bit more difficult but we feel we've got the, the capabilities that yep Clayton's want you want to target a sturgeon because you had. Sturgeon. We don't want the video to be about us, Bill, do no, we? No, it's all about other people, mate. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we'll what we'll try and do is target the forty-one that we're after, and they did actually say a mirror. They were after a forty-one mirror, but we can't odds that. It might be a common, it might be a mirror, but we're, we're hoping for a forty-one. Right. Um, Clayton is just up the ante now with saying catching catfish, you know, but probably. We probably have to say small catfish because the bigger ones are hard to win clout, and they? Yeah, we'll just set ourselves one one catfish, one sturgeon, and yeah. a forty-one pound okay. mirror would be good. If we get that, it will be a very successful trip. So at the moment, let's get the rods set up. Yeah, come on, because right, we're wasting on. time. Get a right. bit of bait in, yeah. Yeah, okay. And anyway, uh, as the video goes on throughout the week, we'll see if we manage to get to what we really There's want. A load of new faces for us on this uh, trip as well, so we. Hopefully meet a few new guys. and uh, There's a few guys who have really just started out in the angling world. and yeah. uh, Maybe we'll, we can help them out, Bill. We'll, put, we'll, we'll spend a lot of time going around helping them out, probably showing them a few rigs and stuff, and hopefully they will catch a few PBs. Yeah. But as it stands at the moment, we've just got here. The weather's not brilliant. You know, there's a bit there's of snow. snow more apparently. Yeah, snow's supposed to be coming in tomorrow, but we'll make the best of it, and hopefully we're hoping for early results and... Uh, I don't know, Clay. Um, fingers crossed. That's all fingers crossed for the week ahead. Yeah, see what happens. We're not magicians. No, but the rigs, the rigs that we've been using recently, have really worked well. Yeah. So okay. we'll give it a go anyway. Tell them we shall sign off. Here we are, a swim one. Here's Stuart looking hard at work. <laughs> yes, mate. Yeah. Feeling confident? No. <laughs> <laughs> Early days though. We'd be nice when we start seeing a few jump about though, won't it? Get the old confidence going. Yeah. You know. Um, early days. Early yeah. days. Yeah, we'll uh, hopefully they'll start showing a bit later on and then you know what it's like when you see them and you start getting the old confidence going a bit. So you're fishing fishing your three rods out this side of the swim, aren't you? You're on this side, Adam's on the other side. Let's have a quick look. They've got it all going on here. Lovely setup. This is swim one, left hand side. Loads of water out there. And as we pan round to the right hand side, where Adam's fishing. He's fishing his rods pretty much straight out, different ranges. He's not using much bait. He'd probably find him somewhere in his boudoir. There he is. 
Hello, mate. All right. How are you doing, all right? Yeah, not bad. Are you feeling confident then for the first? Yeah, well, I don't know. We'll give it a go, will we? Temperatures of rain ain't helping us, is it? No. This rain ain't fucking doing us good, but no. fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We've got, we got the rigs in the wall, mate. We can always catch, can't we? Yeah, well, once, once the first night rolls in, we'll see the fish start showing. Yeah, and then the yeah. confidence should go yeah. up. Oh, so I ain't putting no bait out tonight, just bags and a method and a... And we'll see what happens. Hopefully Nick will buy on the first night. It'll do yeah. us a favour, wouldn't it? it? Keeps your confidence up, doesn't it? Well, hopefully next time we get the camera out, we'll have one on the bank yeah, between us. 50. Yeah, 50. First Italian 50 would be good, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully it will be you first, Adam. <laughs> see, well, I'll be happy with anyone, mate. I'll be happy with anyone. Yeah, nice one. All right, mate. Cheers Lovely for that. See you soon. 18. That's 18 foot there, is it? What's that from the bank? What's that? 15 yard? No, not even that, is it? Nah, right. Yeah, about 15 yards. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Right, it's just now the first evening. Me and Clayton have got the rods out. We haven't got them totally where we want them at the moment. But <coughs> it's been a bit of a damp day, so right. we've managed to get a couple in on the spots we're happy with. We're going to flip the others out just on singles tonight, just a little bag around them, and uh, see what happens, and then we'll readjust them tomorrow. Uh, but as it stands at the minute, the weather, as you can see, is very grey and a bit light drizzle, which has been doing most of the day. I've managed to get my rods in this swim here, which is 22, and Clayton has got his out in swim 2. We'll show you a bit more detail later. But at the moment, it's just early days, and you know, if we can nick the bite tonight, we'll be very, very pleased with it. But for now, We'll see you in a little while. I'm fishing at the moment. We've got one rod, just where that gap is over there, just along the reed line. I'm just fishing one just off there, 10 foot off. Middle rod, fishing straight across to the tree. There's a gap. I've just come off just under them branches that hang down in the water there. And then the third rod is just placed over towards the left of the pylon, about halfway across in sort of the deeper bit. That one's literally just been thrown out there on a PVA bag. Uh, when we was here in November, a guy, a fellow of Ash, he caught a nice fish from that area. So we're gonna give it a go there. And then we'll have a little readjust if we need to a bit later on. <coughs> Clay, what's on the menu tonight, mate? Well, I think your lovely missus has uh, cooked us a pie that we're heating up. Is it steak and kidney? Yeah, it's gone up. Let's have a quick look. <laughs> it's always look like that. Always food. bubbling oh. away lovely, doesn't oh, it? Look at that. All right, oh. enough. Can't wait to taste that, mate. Potatoes. Yeah. Gravy. Now, hopefully, uh, once the dark, darkness rolls in, Hopefully we'll start seeing a few and then uh, one of us get a bite. Don't matter who it is, just one of us. Get us off the mark, get everyone excited. We're having a nice little glass of the old rum and coke. Don't know if you've got enough wine, nice Bill, have we? Have you got enough wine? Well, it's more than enough for me, but probably not for you. Yeah, might have to get some. So I might let you have one bottle. <laughs> Right, yeah. let's see what happens, eh? Fingers crossed. Right, it's now Monday morning. Uh, the weather has got not very good at all. Uh, last night, we had a couple of little occurrences on the rods, but no fish. It seemed very quiet. Didn't hear anything boshing, but it's been raining all night. But now, if I can show you outside, it is horrendous. It's not what we were expecting. We were not expecting this. Let's see everything. He's getting a bit of a battering at the moment. But look, snow. Oh. So we're gonna have to suffer this for a little while, I think. Hopefully, on the weather it shows a bit of improvement in the next couple of days. But that is not what we wanted. OK, 
Tom Stewart from Swim One. <laughs> Just what you wanted, in it, Joe? <laughs> Ski, up, ski Monday, I think. Oh dear, pal. Oh dear. Well, hey ho, it is what it is. We just got to see this day out, I think, and then that is going to start improving. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Clayton's gone for a walk. It's in the size right. of some of the flakes. So, what are your first impressions then, Stu? Even shitter! <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh mate! I ain't even seen a fish. No, Have you? no, we ain't seen anything. Clay, you ain't got a corner, lad. Yeah, I might as well show you. This is what I'm hoping to have a mod. I'm right, we'll get a proper focus on them. She just got a little 10, 10, 11, 12 mil pop up, short rig, all goes in a bag and put it out. I'm trying that on a couple of rods, see what happens. Here we are, second night in, and, you've and got I've only, me, managed to get one. Go ahead, look. What have we got? Look at that. Alright, you get that there, I'm going to go and get the scales. Yes, he does. I like it. Oh, well, close that. Yes, yeah, nice fish. Lovely colour. Alright, we've got to get the hook out of it. Is it nailed? Yeah. Cover our eyes from the surface. Right, Bill, one thing we didn't do was zero the scales. Yeah, we'll zero them now and then we'll yeah, take the Zero them now and take it off, yeah. Now we're all on. Yeah. Are we happy that's on? Oh, a bit of red on there, Stu. I'll put the red on. A bit of red on there. Oh, yeah. 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 Happy that's on zero. That's what, yeah. that's what mate, you said, a bit of red. Hey, I'm not that. So is that, Jeff? Not. Yeah. Right, there, we that over there. there we go, happy days. So how's this loose uh, slingy work then? Well. Use my grip with sloth finger. <laughs> I thought it was my finger. Ready? Is it zero? Yeah, yeah, I've zeroed it, so we've got to take off the weight of the... Ready? Yeah. Ah. Go on, muscles. Oh. It's 45.4. Oh. 45.4, Matthew. I ain't tall enough. 45.4, <laughs> and then it's whatever the sling weighs. Yeah. yeah. That weighs. 45 more, minus the sling. If you hold it by the scale, it gives you one reading. What about you? Can you hold it like that? No, nah, it gives you one yeah. reading, mate. Put a yeah. bank stick for it, Ty. There's one leaning up oh, against there. Sounds nice, sounds nice. Bill, where's bank stick? That's Lean up against concrete post. Yeah, 45.4. Yeah, the other one. Or the van. That's the map. Uh, the map. Yeah. Yeah, go on, go on, go down. Well, I need a bit of... Right, tell you what we do then. Yeah, we'll just check it though again, one more time with this. Well, I'm not that worried about it. It's only not far off of it, is it? Do that. Would you want to put him back in the water and then take back yeah. off him afterwards? Yeah, we'll get sorted out. Right. 40. About 45 on the nose, minus the sling, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that'll do. Right, we'll take the sling off. Anyway, well pleased with that. Yeah, well done, yeah, well, mate. Cheers, boys. Right. Huh? You got any walk about, Clay? Yeah, you got any? I'm getting this bucket here, hold on. We're not very prepared, are we? Well, we ain't used to catching, are we? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like to have one, I think. Right, are we ready? Yeah. Lift it up a little bit. Oh, well. Nice. Oh. She's slimy. Nice one, well done, Bill. Fucking hell. Love the shot. Try and hold it out one more time. Lovely. Nice yeah. one. Well, well pleased, Bill. Nice one, well, cheers, boys. Drop it down in there. Oh. That was a comfort place to be, wasn't it? 
Fucking so long, there. Oh, my God. What is Here we go. <laughs> well, after after having all that snow and that today, which was a bit of a gruller, managed to get all the rods back out and uh, a little while ago just managed to catch one. So I was well pleased with that. First fish of the trip for me, which happened to be £41 after we took the sling off. So that's a great result. It's still early days, but the second night managed to get one. So what a tough situation we had this morning though, the wind was howling, snow was coming down, we were struggling, not anything, to even contemplate trying to get the rods out, but anyway we managed to do it, and now we've still got the rest of the night to go, Clayton's having a little go on the rods this time, so hopefully next time the camera's out, we'll have one on the bank for Clayton. What are you looking at? Clayton, you're going on the rods now. Yep. Feeling confident after getting oh, yes, a little bite earlier? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think I'm confident on all the rods, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's nice to get one early, weren't it? Definitely, yeah. £41 as well, not bad. Well done, Rick. Well, well done, Bill. No worries, mate. Are you confident that you put them on the spot for me? Confident as I can be, mate. Yeah. Confident. What difference, eh? Hey? All that snow earlier on. Yeah, it's all gone now. So, we've now got, hopefully, dry days ahead of us. Cold nights. Yeah, cold nights, dry days, but this makes life easy getting the rods out, especially when you have to deal with a bit of PVA. Yeah. Well, it's Tuesday morning now. I managed to have that one last night, and that was all the action we had over here. Adam in Swim 1's had one this morning, so we'll have a little look at that. It's not very big one, but we'll get a bit of footage for you. It also sounds like around the rest of the lake, a few fish came out. So hopefully today I'll get a chance to have a little wander around and have a chat with everyone and see who's had what. But it's Tuesday as I said, so we've still got plenty of time left. But this is the uh, scene of the swim at the moment. Over there, that's, that's the rod under that branch that hangs down there where I had the fish yesterday. So that's done a bite so far. So I'm still waiting on the other two spots to produce. And what that was on the water there. Was that, was that a bird? But my other rod's over there in that gap. About five metres off the bank. And then the other rod just got out to the left, out in about mid water. Uh, Nicholas Holtz has moved in over there yesterday, so he's now fishing there. Not sure how he's got on. So that's swim three. Uh, down this end of the lake, down the far end over there, swim seven, there's a fella, uh, Dean Macy and his friends are over there. Uh, Dean's actually fishing in swim nine, which is if I can get over there. He's just over in that corner, far corner right down by that building there, the things in that bay, so maybe we can go around and see them later and see how they're getting on. Lovely. 
that a little bit of slime off the food back there. Oh, boys, see that? That's it, that's better. Yeah, well done, Adam. First fish. First Italian cops, always nice. Yeah, that's not bad, Craig. You've got a good one, Tom. Just check it, yeah. Just check the fucking throat. Can you throw it? Lovely. Go on. Well done. Love yourself, fellas. Simon Bond with one on. Going in the net. Right. You've got it in. It's coming around Nicholas's swim. It's bringing him in for a little walk around, but at least we can see his tactics now. Yeah. So, what are you using, Nicholas? Show us. Drop off inline. Inline drop off. Little got five inch hook link. Small boily. This actually is a very small pop up. And and pop up. It should stay like this. Very yeah. close to the bottom. Yeah. And that's the normal tactic that works here. Normally, yes. Didn't work last night. <laughs> no. But that's it, you just keep yeah, it the whole simple. lake is not working so good, so yeah. I'm not surprised. Well, there you go. If that's what Nicholas uses, that's what you need to use. I've tried two different hook baits, one with the white corn, and yep. this is uh, just a wafter. A little wafter on that one? Yeah, 12 mil wafter. It's all, all the same setup though, with the leads. The yes, it's the all the same, yes. That's it. We will hopefully. I just use the drop of inline because with a short hook link, you you tend to pull out a fish if you, the lead yeah, stays. Yeah, the lead's on. too close. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So to be able to fish it compact in a small bag, if it was if it was summer, I would probably use a longer hook link, and I wouldn't get rid of the lead because I I use probably a bigger bag. But now I want a smaller. Um, bag so it creates a smaller uh, patch of bait so it's yep. just really one mouthful yeah that's and, enough uh, so I want to shorten my hook link even further and so I want to get rid of the lead yeah right. so you want to dump the lead to stop you pulling out yes. a fish yes because you're on such short hook link yes and I use like two and a half or three ounce lead yeah if I would sense. use like a one ounce then I would leave it on but yeah. I like to have a heavier lead for hooking well, sounds good, yeah. I'll get your reasoning there. It sounds like a good idea. Short hook link, you'd liable to pull out more if they're swinging about. Yeah, it's like much. when you're fishing choddies, you know. In, when you fish yep. a choddy with a, with a four ounce lead, you're looking for trouble. You fish it with a one ounce, two ounce lead, then probably yep. you'll get the fish in. Yeah, that's all good. Yep. Lovely, thanks for that. Yeah. Okay, now we're just walking around the lake now, a little wander around. We're now in swim six, and Nicholas just gonna give you a little brief rundown of the swim and sort of what it's like to fish and what we're looking for. So Nicholas, this swim here, where this would swim, you say? This is, swim here, um, you fish pretty much in front of you. Yeah, so and straight uh, out. It's it's a passing area, you know, where because the fish hold up more in the bay, when they come in and out, you intercept them. There's nothing really to find here. It's flat. So, so how, how deep is it off the front of this swim once you drop off the margin? Uh, around seven to nine meters. 
So that's sort of 25 feet, 24 yeah, something feet. something like that. Yeah. And just flat. Flat. Flat and silty. Uh, in some places, but not deep silt, just a little um, layer. Yep. And the fish still get their heads down in there. Yeah, yeah. So as we pan round on this swim, we're looking across, so that's nine dead the other side. We'll get round there in a minute. And then this swim's had a little bit of work done to it. So it's a bit more comfortable. Now the water level is also up. So, so if the water level goes further up to the right, probably here. Right, so at the moment the depth is, is slightly higher than what it will be. Probably half a meter, a couple of, one foot up. Right. But it's okay. Yeah, so we'll have a little wander down to the next one now there. There's some seven, which is the new swim I've just put in. It's a really nice Actually, one. Seven. Okay, so we're just coming into the new seven now. Good morning. Very comfortable swim. Three musketeers, eh? We've been called worse. <laughs> Hello? Hello. Yeah, how are you getting keep, on? The camera's normally in the bedroom, not on the lake. <laughs> 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 um, I had one this morning in open water, thank God, because I don't believe that man had a fish in open water last week. Mm. Or two weeks. So the fish and Dean's had well Dean's had about I spent four takes I think since last oh, night. Oh yeah. good. One rod fishing in that right hand corner. Okay. Yeah, he's having a few. How about yourselves? Nothing? Or nothing. We had a forty one last night. It's not too bad. How about Hutchie? They were hauling. Yeah? yeah I think Billy's way. Billy had a few as well. Yeah, yeah he's on he's down to two rods. Oh down to one rod now. Just fishing one rod? Yeah. Jesus. I think the fish may be pushed the other end, boy. Pardon? I think the fish might be pushing. Who knows? No, but it's resident fish here, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's all the bank there, they hold that there. Yes, this is the new seven. Really comfortable looking swim. The old swim seven there. Yeah, so that, that's the old swim across there. Yes, so the swim has been moved because the guys from seven were clashing with six, you know? So it's not good to have two swims doing yeah. this. And now also from here you can fish more effectively across to the It's like line, line, you know? Yeah. Just nice washing line going on there. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. It's picked up a couple of fish there. Yeah, so what sort of sizes have you been having? Any small down this end. Yeah. I feel like once they're started a bit smaller is gonna carry on. Yeah. You never know though. No, you never know. I was happy when that one ticked off this morning out there. I think if the big one's going to come, it's going to be from out in that open water. I think Dean's pretty much fishing one rod. Yeah. That's all you need, but it's going off. So, so what tactics are you using? Cut it off. You can cut yourself oh. off, can't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'd, I'd rather fish one rod in the right place than, than a few. Um, what approach are you using, rig-wise and stuff? Uh, yeah. I've just switched back to solid bags out of pellet because obviously these fish just live on pellet, don't they? Uh, I've picked the rest of them up though, just on um, little Ronnie rigs actually. But I have switched over to the pellet. We'll give it a go. Solid bags. Solid bags. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what most of the guys are having, having them on at the moment, with solid bags. Dean's, uh, yeah, he's just one little solid bag he's dropping in the edge. And he's, he's had it go twice in his hand. Really? Yep. So, if they're there, they're there. Yeah. How much mess is in there, huh? <laughs> Depends on you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I you said it depends if he's on a Wednesday or a Thursday. No, if it. If it is. Okay, so now we're now standing in what was old seven. As I pan round, we can see across that's where we was just a minute ago, over there, which is a new one. So, the idea was to move this one from here. Yeah. Just to stop people interfering, carp with fishing six. out. With sticks, yeah. Yeah. And uh, how long has that been built, this one? In it's been built the end of November. Right. So literally just after we were here then, guys. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so far it's worked out well. Yeah. We we'll go across. So that's Dean over there. We're going to go around and see. Apparently he's got a fish. So we hope we get a bit on film. We we'll have a little wander up, and I think there's swim eight on the way as well. So we we'll have a quick look there. But swim eight is actually closed, so you you cannot book it. Right, okay. On a full lake booking, you can use it. Yep. Yeah. But you, on a normal week, you can't book it. Okay, because they interfere yeah, with each mean, other. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, just, uh, yeah. it's still there, but... Yeah. Oh, 
So we're just coming up to swim eight now. We're about to see what Dean's been up to there. Look, what's he got? That, he's got massive great big fishing rods. There's a big log there and all. That log has been here forever. If you look at the Parco del Brenta logo, it's a turtle on a log, and that's the log. Is yeah. it? Yes. I was gonna. I might put one on there later on then. This is this is floating around the lake. Yeah. So uh, mine, it's a, mine, it's mine a, will it's be. A, <laughs> it's a heritage. Oh, all right. Okay. There we go. So it looks like he's having a little bank stick there. Ping one across. We'll go around and see him. So anyway, this is swim eight, which. Uh, Nicholas said that they generally don't have open unless it's a full lake exclusive and then you can fish there. Here we come in swim nine now. This is where me Morning, and Nick Dean. fished in November. Are you comfortable in front of the camera? Yeah, so I was just about to do a hundred burpees. But... <laughs> <laughs> How are we doing, Dean? Yeah. Having a few out? A few, mate, yeah. yeah. I ain't, I ain't really sussed it, to be fair. I've got one rod going, but aside from that, yeah. yeah. Don't really know. Got a couple. Yeah, actually, to be fair, actually, this morning's been good. So, yeah. Do you want to do some snaps? Yeah, we'll sit for it. yeah, yeah. yeah sweet. All right. Yeah. I was just going to have a porridge. So. Yeah. <laughs> get the old muscles going first. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as I go for a swim. <laughs> yeah, that no, was a good ball, to be fair. But I'll, to be, I'll be honest with you, I haven't had a rod in the water for long. But I've been baiting it. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. So, but I'm, I'm basically casting across, spooning it in. Yeah. Takes me probably 20 minutes to get the rod out. But then, and then from how then, long? 30 minutes. Yeah, good. The first, so, so the first fish, I went round there and it took me maybe three or four trips. So I'm doing like maybe four or 500 meters just to get one rod in because I'm like, I'll need to do that and I'm walking all the way back. Someone help you really, don't you? It's, it's, it's an easy two man job and it's a yeah. bit of a pain in the ass for, for a one man job. I've got around there, right? And I've just literally got the loop of the line through the thing like and it's gone like that. And I thought, what's that? Pulled it back and it went like that. I thought, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, run, I'm, I'm ran there with a fish hand line. I'm like, oh, shit, I've got to get back to the rod. So I've whistled, I've whistled Ray and he's like, what do you want me to do? And I'm like, I'm like, what do I do? So I've just gone, I've gone like, right. <laughs> and I've legged it back. So yeah, I don't know. The group was probably in the water 15 minutes, but I was pissing around and stuff, you know? Yeah. So, but yeah, so. That's going well. It'd be nice to see a couple of fish on the video. It works. I mean, the common's cool. Yeah. Common's like a bit, a little bit warped, a little bit sort of flat belly, high shoulders, you know, yeah, like sort of. They've got a distinctive half moon shape. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but that's that's 38, 38, 12, I think, and then the mirror's 40, 48 and a half. Right, lovely. So. Good. Lovely, yeah. So this is swim nine. This is one save me and Nick was in. So Dean, Dean's basically chucking across to swim eight. Get him around there, and then just feeding it out with your bait spoon. Well, I'm getting out of the tree first, mate. Out of the, the tree, yeah, yeah. Generally, <laughs> like we all do. Yeah, yeah. No, it's been all right. At least, at least it's nice to see that you do it as well. <laughs> but yeah, so you're spooning it in, come back round, and the rod's not out long. He's having a few fish. That's great. So, just to see, Clay, we haven't seen these in the edge of our swim before, have we? What are these well, we things? We saw one. No, come on, Bill. We saw one last night. We had one last night. <laughs> we did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. And, uh, and Adam had one off of the uh, point here, it was just 30. So I didn't know it was a, it was a high 20, wasn't it? High 20, you've been hearing them, have you? Oh, they've been all over us last night. I, I woke him up saying, can you hear those fish? He's like, I can't hear anything. Wake up! I'm off the, I'm off the rods now, so I'll the other just night, switch off. The other night, we didn't hear a thing. You share, you split in? Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't hear a thing. But I never heard night, anything last night. I was up and I can hear them all last night. So yeah. Yeah, yeah I to be fair, but actually. I the bait. It's yeah, I know. I spoke to the boys last night. Bill had a, a 44 about 4 o'clock this morning and my mate was down there helping him out and he said, I was only there 10 minutes and no 20 fish. Yeah. So I was like, mm -hmm. yeah. that's what it is. I, I, heard, I heard him here last night, to be yeah. fair. Um, and then I got the rod back out. I had, um, I had a little one, about 15 pounds, had a catfish. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I actually lost one last night in this bloody tree here. I, I, I tried to get my waders on. So I sorted the waders out, everything you as you do overnight, right? Feet. Waders ended up up there, mate. I lost my rag. Going, oh my God. And then I stood up like this, and then it went in. I was like, oh, I need to get the waders back. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get them on. I was hopping around yeah. like a bloody kangaroo. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, yeah, right, good morning. Uh, okay. Get yourself a phone. Yeah. 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 
I'll run it in the back of the sack. <laughs> right, okay. Where do you want the mat to be? Yeah, sorry. 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 Yeah, Really cool fish, but its fins are all warped. I can't tell whether it's back or it's. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're all wrinkly, like a sturgeon. Hmm. Almost. <sighs> yeah, like sturgeons have like cauliflower sort of effects. <sighs> it's a good job this water's warm, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing. You don't want to get your snaps cold, don't you? Yeah, wicked, isn't it? See what I mean? It's got like warped, weird warped fins, like. Yeah, yeah. A little bit like cauliflower. I think the other ones are. Morning. Morning, morning. <coughs> Alright, mate. Big man. How are we doodling? Good, mate. Yeah, sweet. Wow. Too sweet. <coughs> yeah, also, this. This fin is very small, you see? Very strange fish. Size doesn't matter. <laughs> not everything, my friend. It's not everything. I'll tell you yeah, what. It says it got a six foot six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where you get slapped. I got an absolute hammering yesterday. I got my first fish out of here when I came. He got me, he nearly knocked me out. I went down and <laughs> banged my tail, knocked me across the swim. Yeah. yeah, isn't it? Look, it's like real curly fins. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, it's 35 mil, isn't it? Yeah, it's not oh, you, 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 you have set the, the focus on, on one point. Yeah, just yeah, stick it right in the middle uh, of the fish. If it go, ever goes up. Yeah, yeah. It's quite it's stuck. Yeah, sorry, mate. What was that? Stay there. Don't go. Euro style. Uh, tail down slightly. Yeah, like, yeah, perfect. <laughs> you can trust one to do a picture for you, that's the most. Here we go, fish number two, the Dean coming out. How are they going? Is this the bigger one, Dean? Yeah, this is um, uh, 40, 47 or 48 and a half. I'll have to ring Ray, I can't remember. Lovely. And what, so, what was the one we just done? 37, uh, 38, oh, it's 38 and a half, and that was 38, 12. Right. Yeah. Lovely. No, 48 and a half. 3812. Right, okay. We got it. We got it clear. <laughs> I need to write this <laughs> yeah. shit down. I'll come and ask you tomorrow, it'll be 52. It was this big. <laughs> yeah. I assume they will go in well, probably. Down the point. Right. Yes. <laughs> Here we go, fish number two for Dean. Yeah, that is a big one. Cracking fish, eh? Mm. The old bum goes when you see one of them yeah. put under the rod tip, doesn't it? <laughs> Thanks, that's shaking. Yeah, cracking fish, Dean. 
mint, isn't it? Mm. Right, Fuck, it was born yesterday. Must have been for me to catch it. See, the one we had last night was similar size, but didn't have the whip on it, that's oh. got. Yeah. There we go, then. Okay. Uh, 48 and a half, this one. Uh, nice <laughs> fish. Yeah. Classical Parco mirror. Perfect mint. Yeah, yeah sweet. I like the shape of those mirrors rather than the flat bottomed. Yeah. Thank you. No, it depends which common. Right. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's a couple of commons oh. in here. That... Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't complain. Not, no. really <laughs> fat, not really flat. Nah. The one that that guy with the yellow boots had off the point when you filmed with Pete. There might be 10 in there bigger than this. The, than the, that the, one, but the that's common. The common, yeah. The five had, common. 55, was it? Yeah. Yeah, he had in 22, yes. That's yeah. beautiful. Fish. Yeah, that's, that's mean. It's like a box, but. Yeah. That would do me. I'd have that over a 60 pounder any day. Unless it is 60 pound now, then obviously yeah, it's even yeah. better. <laughs> right. The yeah, ABC was darling. I'll we'll get you back. Beautiful mouth, beautiful condition. Nice and quick. Cracking fish that. Look at me, Dean. Perfect one, that. Oh, I'll do some Euro styles. Come on. You want to? Yeah, yeah. All right, give me a one second. Two. That's not yeah. heavy. No, it's not heavy, but. This is why you don't rest it on your knees. I don't rest them on my knees. My knees are so bloody big, that's why. All you can it see is knees. He's <laughs> getting on a bit. Yes. Now, yeah. Wait, sorry. I need to come in. Oh, this is good. Wait, one more. Yeah, one, more one more, one oh, more. Big fish. <coughs> so you like, see, see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you want some release shots in the water? Yeah, I was going to save myself for a big one. <laughs> you, you can do some practice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right come, come around to Earth room and rest up for a while. <laughs> right, do the prep. Uh, to be fair, actually, I am. I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to go around, sit on the sit on the phone for 10 oh, minutes. looks perfect. Like yeah. Down. That's exactly what them rats were sitting like last night. <laughs> Just like yeah. that, as I was shining my head talk. <laughs> That's right, it's, it's the lucky mid, one. It's the middle rod. I know that ain't going off. The lucky one. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, so we just had a little wander around there. That was nice to see Dean's fish there. He's having a good little session over there. He's quite simple fishing. He's not having to wait too long for the bites. So that's all going well for him. We're we'll just wandering around the back now. So we're now in swim 12. Uh, there's a couple of guys just arrived in swim 11. And then we're going to wander up and see there's a few English guys that are fishing peg 14. And then we'll head up to 15, have a quick look across there. But no, I mean, it's nice to see that a few fish are coming out. I think most people are having a little bit of action. It's been a bit slow for me and Clay, but we've still got plenty of time left. But I mean, what an incredible place this is, because the temperatures are all against you. If you was back home, you'd think, oh, you'd struggle to catch one fish, but over here, people are having them. And they're all in their winter colors as well, which look even more spectacular. But we'll, we'll now carry on having a wander. It's just nice to see what other people are up to, really. So we're now in peg 13. So if you look across, that's peg 20 over there where Simon and Mark are. They're doing well out there. I think they're managing to get on some sort of reasonable depths. It seems to be at the moment the fish are coming out sort of between about 14 and 10 feet, seems to be the going depths. And looking across to swim one, that's where Stuart and Adam are.
Let's have a little wander into swim 14 now. See if anyone's home. Anyone home? All right, mate. How are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Could be better. Yeah? Yeah. You having a few cats, are you? <coughs> Pest control. Yeah. It's great how they come out at night as well, isn't it? Yeah. Just when you want them as well, isn't it? <laughs> Nuisance. Yeah. But have you seen much out here? Carp, they rolling? At night, yeah. Over the other side of the bank. Simon and Mark are doing well over there, I think, aren't they? I've seen them. Yeah, if you Evan. literally come out here at night, the road that runs through the middle, you just watch that side in front of your mate there in 19, yeah. all the way down to about 100 yards off the point. They're all bump, 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 yeah. Bump, yeah. So what are they, are they the other side of the road then? Yeah. Yeah. And I would cast that far, but <laughs> I know if I do, there's going to be a spawn that lands yeah. like right here. Yeah, and you know for where we'll be able to reach over here. Yeah. yeah. You reach over that fence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take cover. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it seems to be, well, as we walk around, the guys that are catching a few of the carp seem to be sort of 10 to 14 feet depth wise. I've got it. Yeah. You, got it here. You got it on along that margin. The, or off the end between of, the two trees. If you look on most of the maps, there's, it says circle, which means show, but it doesn't. It means plateau. Right. So basically, there's a little plateau just here up along the side of the point of the... Uh, right, just out there. But it's like a rod length off. So you've got a gully of like 20 foot that comes back up. So it's, pr it's profound. Yep. And you're on that. Yeah. And not a bite. And the guys down there in, uh, in the bay are doing really well. I think Billy... Billy's have at about ten yesterday. Literally, so he's finally starting to catch Yeah, I them. think I think he's literally getting them within thirty seconds. Yeah, he should be. Yeah. He so. should be. If you think about it, when we were here last year, Mark did 131 fish out of there in a week. It's incredible, isn't it? it unbelievable. unbelievable I, I stood and watched it because obviously I was here, but it's something else. That that peg is something else, but when Billy started and to hear in his first 24 hours he'd only had one fish, it was like, mm, Yeah, I think I think on? Nicholas went round there yesterday yeah. and uh, said to Billy, this is where you need to be. Showed him the spot. Did he put him on the bunny ears? He put him on it and then he ain't stopped since, so. <laughs> He's put him on the bunny ears. Nicholas wants to take a lot of the credit, he said, for that one. Well. <laughs> local knowledge. Nah, you can't go without local knowledge. So what is the new rod then? Show us it. Ah yes, bomb rod. It's made from Harrison. One second. The rod. It's gonna fly. So you're gonna give it a go. Yeah. Well, Nicholas is going to give us a little lesson now and how to spawn properly yeah, in this swim play. It shows reckon? what we've been doing wrong since we've been here. Yeah. Do you think he's going to uh, mess it up? I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> he actually catches a fish with his bomb. <laughs> yeah. We'll see what happens. Stand back, everyone. Right. Yes, you sure? You want to blast it? Yeah, so the first one I'll, I'll, I'll do over there. You don't have to, just go straight. You remember what happens though, if you go too far, one will come back the other way. How long is the clip? Like 20. 20 wraps? Yep. Go as well, yeah. Just a really pretty one. So what's the idea here then, Nicholas? See how far you can get into their swim? Yes. Right. I want to piss them off. I'm loading it for you. You want me to grab it? I'll, I'll try like this. <laughs> so, you ain't got enough line in here. 
line. What? You're missing 100 meters of line. Oh, of what? I have no problem. 160 yards easy. With this? Yeah, with that. You will be in nylon. There is no nylon. Yeah, but with the look. It looks like you're safe, really? boys. It looks like they're in bed anyway. They ain't... I, did I did lose a couple. I did lose a couple of. Uh, they haven't clocked you. They will. They will. <laughs> oh, oh, that's good. That's good. That's going to sail. Yeah, and it's in the wind as well. Not big wind. But... What's most important <laughs> is the trajectory of the spawn. Yeah. I've lost a bit. Slowly but surely, don't we? I told you a pallet. Last yeah. one. Last I one. wouldn't advise using anything else, but I told you a pallet. For the cats? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But probably it's the DNA thing you 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 put in there. We put no DNA. We put no DNA. Are you using the Chinese coffee scum here? No. Nope. Why would I use Chinese coffee scum? Huh? There's not a lot that gets Clayton excited, but he's got excited about these. It's different gravy around here, isn't it? What do you reckon on these? These little bags. Oh, the, mate, I like them. They're great, aren't they? To be fair, the Match Boys have been using stuff like that for a long time. Yeah. You know, like Seafox, Seafox Boys. My next purchase. I've only two. Keep your makeup in it. Oh, yeah. Little dots bomb. <laughs> Never used it. What other magic you got in there that we can. Alarm. That's the smallest bait spoon I've ever seen, though. Look, Jesus Christ, That's man, nice, you huh? got a few quid. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't all, we just washed it. <laughs> Not much more. Some supplies. Some. Some bait. Oh. Uh, what do we have here? The bait's here. Oh, these are quite Still nice, there. actually. I bought them in a show in Germany. Oh, look at them. I've not seen them before. Oh. I've not seen them before. Looks like it's... This is like a dissolving paste you, you thread on your hook link. All right. So it, I got the cell one. The, the, this is the approved uh, mainland roller from Germany. Bait cell is strobbing. How long do these take? Because mainline do dissolvers, didn't they? Yeah, they take, they around, take they take around, I think, 20 minutes. I still need to, and, and they, they sell them with stick needle and so good, so. I got saw something like that in the shower yesterday. Cell <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> an essential cell. Yeah. Best before 1 12 2018. The bread I bought in the supermarket's got a sell by day similar to that. Yeah. Three months. <laughs> Three months. <laughs> yeah. Weird. And I have some of that. Yeah, we got a bit of that. Stick mix. Yeah, it's got that. Oh, I love these. These are very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Very good stuff. And two kilos of boilies. That's about it. 
No secrets. That lot lasts you 10 minutes in the summer, here. Yeah? No. <laughs> I never use much bait here. Do you know? I also don't catch so much, so. <laughs> All right, yeah, good luck, Dane. Yeah, Bye, Dane. This is the big version. This is what's got me going. I get my hair dryer in there easy. Oh, yeah. So they're like rigid on the sides, are they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Totally waterproof. Yep. Should be. Soon to be stocked in the UK. Yeah? Oh, yes. I use this for Watch my tackle, you know. So, it's good. Well, I've just come around the other side now, to opposite where me and Clayton are fishing. I'll just show you the spot where I caught the one last night. Right, so we were over there, just to get perspective. And the fish I had on was under the tree there, that branch that hangs out, just down there, casting over, spooning the lead back, and putting a line in the clip there, and then slack lining down onto it. And that's the one that went, so we'll do that again later. And hopefully, catch another one. So, we have fish like the time the one that comes along one of the bars is his stump. And I ain't getting no, I remember Miles couldn't get them. Yeah, no, no, Lockie said, You lose a load. So I got a load of a chopper, so I went, He was getting takes off the tape. Yeah, the chopper was really thick. I take it in my hand. See, the other chopper's going to come. He's back on the other side because he's all pushed it, just kept it away from the snake. And Lucky come out and went, all the years he's fished it, it's quite nice. Sometimes it's just a, a fresh head. Decent fish out there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And that's what he said to me about... Um, they catch on the bottom of the bar. If you, because I'd also everything really they explained really to me, I was lucky enough to catch uh, like it. So if you get a fish now, get the, you know, the curly bit off the... No, I'm going to bring that one to the bottom of the bar. I've got the lead of it, look. That was a 48 and a 53 hand line. There's brilliant moles, you can hear moles on the camera going... It's a very special yeah. place. You go there, and as soon as you pull into that, uh, get into yeah, the gate and you open. look at it. It's just, oh, yeah, I can't, I can't, also your, I can't describe it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, it's just, once, once you're there, and you know that that clock's ticking, you're going to be going home soon. You just, I just don't think of anything else. But when I'm going back out, yeah, yeah, I exactly what your uh, line I was saying. Going back, I was like. Well, you can see the yeah, bit of a week when I was in the, in the car park, getting the old ferry on the way back, we were just giggling yeah. like kids about. Yeah, that's, yeah. It was good. I'd like to say, so I'd love it. He would absolutely. You can also try just one here. Well, it's one of them places, when you go there, you're not sure, but everyone falls in love with it. There ain't many people. And there's a good camera there as well. Everyone helps yeah. each other. Sure. Right, it's Tuesday at the moment. Uh, Tuesday afternoon, about sort of half four, five o'clock. We had a little walk around the lake day, earlier on, me and Clayton. Had a few chat with the other fellas, all, all nice bunch of blokes who are fishing on here at the moment. Nice to meet a few of them, especially Dean, he's a, he's a proper funny bloke, he is. But uh, yeah, he's doing well. I've now uh, come back round, had a bit of something to eat, freshened up a little bit. Clayton's gone on some sort of thing to wash his hair and towel can powder his bollocks or something like that. But while he's done that, I've managed to get the rods back out. So. We've got the rods fishing back on the same spots I showed you earlier. Clayton's got his rods back out. Uh, we're going to have a bit of grub a bit later on. Sit back, probably have a few little glasses of vino tonight because the weather now, I mean, I don't know, it's just it's like it's, it's like we've just come back on a totally different week. Earlier on when we had the snow and the rain, I was just sitting here thinking, oh my God, if it's going to be like this all week, it be a bloody nightmare, but now honestly, it feels like a totally different session altogether, you know. And the fish hopefully are going to start moving. I was pleased last night when we caught one. I want to get another one tonight because I want Clayton to have one now. And then we're both on one fish, and we still got four or five nights left, I think it is. What's it now? Tuesday, yeah. So we got a few nights to go. There's a little bit of wind, a little bit of cloud, temperatures so much better. I'm just hoping the fish move back in again. Right, let me just show you quickly. This is what 
Clayton is accommodating us with. Look at him. You don't do anything by halves, old Clay. You've probably seen it all before, but look, one of them ovens, godsend. <laughs> what are you like? I thought myself, there's only one stupid fucking bastard that's got a fucking stroke like that. <laughs> Well, we didn't want to get the mat dirty. Do you know how many times you have to turn that light switch on and off now? Because you've done that. Clayton does some weird things. He's been doing strange things all week. I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Right, well, the fishing hasn't been too too good for us, me and Clay, at the moment. But tonight is going to be a good night because we're going to have a nice little barbecue with the rest of the guys. So we'll pull the rods in. We'll see see a few of the faces, see how they've been getting on, and have a nice bit of food. Then hopefully catch one tonight. Have it fun, right? Everyone take a bit and pass it on. Presidente, you allow presidente. Oh, Just be aware it's not coming it's past me. It's not It's stopping here. That's enjoying this. We have a lot of coming on, folks. Don't ask. Oh, I miss that bit. Oh, yes. Chinese. No, those burgers are there's a little bit of chicken here if anyone wants it. Yeah, quick, yeah. Yeah. No, I'll chill on that. Send it on chip. Because he didn't have much beef. You want to do half? He told me he was losing weight. Come on, it's more like that. That's going to take a while. Yeah. I just filmed Clayton. You filmed him? Yeah, yeah. He's trying to cast. He dropped out of that. He does it every time. Yesterday, um, <laughs> oh, I'm going to try and move to the phone free. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Um, but whether he's doing this in English, she's gorgeous. My other one was a beast. Oh, yeah, you can be a beast. It's a nice, lovely place. That's the thing. Was it the prestige of gold? Lovely chips, guy. Lovely bit of bread. Done well, mate. And he was like, "Lights on me, yeah." Yeah, go on, Clay. What do you reckon on tonight? Good night. Night. Yeah, it was very good night. Good night with the boys. Some stories and some people are going to get some stick tomorrow. That's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> what was you drinking? Um, I don't know, but it was clear. And I don't drink clear stuff. Well, I do. I like gin. <laughs> but this wasn't gin. You've had a good feel. <laughs> how many How many bottles have we had? Uh, Two bottles I've and... Had, I've had one bottle. You've had four bottles. No, and... I've not had four bottles. Bill, I've, right. had, I've, had, I've had maybe one and a half bottles of wine with you. Yeah, and how many beers? beers? Oh, we've had a few beers. We've had some something called... Is it Rapper? Yeah. Or gra grappa. That's it, grappa. Bit of sambuca. Oh, no, sam and now the rods are back out. Rods are back out, and uh, I'm on the rods, apparently. Been on the rods for two days, mate. Am I? Yeah. <laughs> so tonight is a night, yeah? Tonight's a night, we've got to catch a fish. And I might even turn my receiver on for you. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be right good. Then, mate. Right, well, okay. Let's hope we have so, one, yeah? So it's good night from me. And it's good night from him, me. <laughs> well, it's Big Fish Thursday now. It's been very slow. Clayton had a sturgeon last night and a catfish. We're now just heading up to swim one, where Stuart seems to have hooked himself a fish at long last. So let's go and have a little look at this one. Hopefully it's a chunk. Tear off, did it? Nah. On 
Pula ini. Right. Oh, well, we'll hopefully see one on the mat soon then. Oh, I ain't for one. I'm not very mad with it. I don't think, I don't think he's got the lead. Can't be mad with fucking things, can you, Bernard? Yeah, dumb yeah, dumbs every time. It's going to take half an hour to get this in. <laughs> it takes it. Yes, be careful with it. It's nice to see a bit of fish action though, you know? Someone actually playing one. Tate wouldn't let me film him with his sturgeon last night. Like the duck? Or the duck. Or the duck. Or the cat. The duck's now in the oven. Right. Sometime today would be good. <laughs> well done, Mike. Well done. Are we using this one or another one? You can use that one, mate. I don't think you're going to wait, okay? Oh, mate, that's right. I'll ten pound for that, won't we? I'd say eleven. Parco <laughs> mirror, the Stuart. It's that one on that. Self. For me and Bill. I look after him big time. Yeah. I Well thanks for opening the tin of baked beans for me. It's fine. But you know, in return for that, look what I've done you. <sighs> fucking camera game. You might have done this. It's the fucking first thing you've done since we've been here. Oh, hang it? on. Hey, uh, hang on. Daddy? Oh, no, it's first. It's all right. Yeah, I'll look to surgeon yes. for you. <laughs> I'll look to duck for you. I wish you were You disappeared off into the bivvy. You went to bed for four hours. I'll put all your rods back out for you. Yes. Yeah, what a stupid thing to do at two o'clock in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, you've got some washing up to do, so make sure there's enough film in that camera for me to film you washing up. Get as bad as Kevin in as you are. Kev told me don't need to do the washing yeah, up when I go with you. Just. Yeah, he said, good thing about Clayton is he does all the washing up. Oh, look at that. It's all done, Bill. Come on, you yeah. Anyway, nice bit of breakfast on the go now. Stuart's just had one off the swim one, which is a result, because that's the first bit of daytime action we've had between us on this area of the lake. Uh, Sun is out now, it's still cold, but it's nice to have a bit of sunshine. I've rustled Clayton up a nice breakfast as per normal, and we're going to sit down in the sunshine and enjoy. And then later on, I'm going to read all the rods, so I'll put my rigs back on and we'll see how long it takes to catch one after that. So, till then, adios. Right, we're going to have a quick rundown of uh, what's been going on since we've been here. Uh, to be fair, it's not been a fantastic week for me and Clayton, as for a few of the other guys, but there has been a few swims on the lake that have been producing a few fish. Uh, we've got a guy called Ray, who's fishing in Swim 7, who's done done very well. He's had a few fish out, I think he's about 9 or 10 at the moment, up to 65 and a few other backup fish a couple of 50s and 40s i think he's, he's had a really good session uh you got dean macy who's fishing in swim nine i think he's also on around about the same amount of fish he's gone uh, a couple of good ones um some good 40s he's also had a 58 uh common which i think was his new pb for him for a common so he's well pleased so they're having steady action down there most days uh, myself and Clayton, I'm on the 141, 
Clayton had a sturgeon last night and he also had a little channel catfish with a bit annoying but at least it gives us a bit of something to do. Guys fishing on swim one who's Stuart and Adam. They've both had one each now. Uh, Stuart had his this morning. Uh, funny enough after actually this morning we did see fish in the bay behind me now which is swim three. No sorry swim two which Clayton's got his rods out in. We actually did see fish around the area and uh, Stuart fishing on the left of one has managed to sort of get a rod out to him and he did manage to get a bite this morning so that was good angling on his part. Uh, going around the rest of the lake, I think the guys that are fishing in swim 11, uh, sorry 13 and 14, I think they've had a lot of problems catching catfish, little channel catfish so I'm not sure they've had any carp yet. But they've definitely been kept up all night with catfish, that is for sure. Um, round, as you go round to swims 17, 18 and swim 16. The guys round now, I think Billy Flowers is fishing in swim 16. He's having a good trip. He's managing to pull quite a few out every day. He's having to work hard for it though. I think he's been a lot of bag work, getting it tight over the other side and it's been paying off for him. So he has to be on his rods because it's a bit snaggy over there, but I think he's done well. I'm not sure on his size of his fish. I'm sure, I think he's had a few faulties. Um, so, oh yeah, um, you got Mark Hutchinson and Simon Bond the fishing in swim 20 and 21. They've had a good week. They started well. They were fishing out towards the road, and I think they've clonked out a few good fish, uh, a few 50s. I'm not sure on numbers of them, but hopefully we'll find out later on. But yeah, I think they're doing well. They're, they're working at it though, they're putting a lot of bait out at the right time of day and then putting the rods out and then getting a few bites. But as for Parco itself, it's a cracking lake. It's like any other lake, you know, it can fish. Some swims will do well, some won't. But generally, hopefully everyone will go home with a fish. Um, the people we've met around here this week, I've not met a lot of them before. They all seem like a great bunch of guys. Uh, the guy who runs it, Nicholas, he seems a really nice fella. Uh, he's got a guy called, um, oh sorry, Antonio runs it. Uh, and Nicholas Holtz so helps him helps him out with the the English anglers that comes over. And Nicholas is a really nice fella. He's done a few days fishing with us. But, uh, you know, very hospitable. Can't do enough for you. Uh, they want you to have a good time. So, yeah, well worth coming to this lake. Hopefully, we've got three nights left. It's Big Fish Thursday. I'm hoping that today, maybe I can clonk one of the big ones out because I'll be well chuffed with that. I mean, I'll be over the moon. Anything 50 plus, I'm done, job done for me. Uh, but we shall see. Clayton's gone for a little wander around now. He'll come back, probably sort a couple of his rods out, and then we'll be set for the night. And hopefully they will move in tonight. So next time this camera's out, I'm hoping there will definitely be a fish on the bank. Wherever we start fishing, let's do that. The reason why I'm saying it is 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First shot that way, I'm fine. Fine, so put your line on, put your feet. Hang on, you can No, not that one. You've got to go further than the pump up. You've got to be either side, otherwise I'll pump up. You're not even here. Come on, baby. <laughs> Is he like that when you're putting your cart rods out? Oh, he's fucking nice. Yeah. Oh, he's fucking nice. 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 I think you should have bought two nets. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Okay, this swim here is another swim where you can, you've got access to the road out in front that runs across there from swim one. Uh, I'll look back towards swim one now. So 21 has got a nice little area all out in front here and as the road runs straight across, I think from this swim you are, you are able to hit the road also from the next swim up 22. So we're now walking up to swim 22. This is where Simon and Mark are fishing. Uh, they're having a little go on stop pond at the moment, so they're not about. But yeah, this is where they've been doing quite well. But anyway, we'll have a quick look at the swim over here. This is it here. And they can fish straight out across there where the road is. That's looking across to swim 13, swim 14, straight head. They've been doing quite well. And have a little look at their setups.
we go, just looking round into the bay of 15. And so it runs round the corner there, turns the 90 degrees at the end there, and then spins round in towards 17 and 16. How we go? How we doing? All right. Yeah, not too bad, mate. Had any out today? No, nothing today. No. No, pretty bad. Quiet. Oh, all of you up here, or was Billy having uh, them? Bill, Bill's had a few. Is he? Yeah. Uh, I think he had a couple this morning. I don't think he's had any, anything else today. You want to get him out of that swim? <laughs> oh, tell me about it. Yeah. Yeah. Got a bit of wood. <laughs> I'll go and get rid of him. Might need the wood. <laughs> all right. You had anything done now? No, Clayton had a Clayton had a sturgeon earlier and like oh, this morning and a catfish, that was it. Yeah. And uh Stuart had a one you know in the morning about twenty pounds, something like that. Nice. Yeah, it looks lovely up here though, oh, doesn't it? Mate, it's like a sun chap up there. Yeah. yeah. Hutchie and that are on the stock pond. Are they? Catching galore on there and all. On the stock pond, yeah. Yeah. Yeah like. Yeah. Leaning. Right. Swim right. yeah. sixteen. And Bill's just managed to get one in. Reckon this is going to be up there, or yeah, I reckon so. I reckon it's going to be mid forties, maybe high forties. One I had earlier was a mirror, forty-seven, so be a uh, nice big common. I always like a big common. Yeah, commons are nice, aren't they? Big ones. I just never catch them. No, no I lift the fishings and sling. Big fish Thursday. Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna. You said that last night, so I'm just gonna fish first, didn't you? Yeah. Monkey Wednesday, am I? <laughs> <sighs> About what? Oh. How big? 45? Ah, oh. no. That's what was before. 45 so Down. The head needs to come up. Like that? Yes? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I'll tell you when. Smile. Uh, tail up if you can. You lower the fish. Smile, do so in the face. Yeah. Yeah, what, yeah, what you could actually get in. Well, so how many fish are on Two. now then, Bill? Uh, that's, <laughs> no, that's uh, 18 fish now. 18, yeah? Yeah, biggest uh, 47, and this brings the tally to four 40s. And uh, yeah, good few 30s. Yeah. Like the 20s. And Catch it on all rods, or you just got. No, to be rod. honest, that, that was on the middle rod. Um, just started getting that spot rocking. That's done probably three or four bites now, but the the right hand has been the one for me. It's probably done. So I had the 17 fish, I think. Two have come, so I've had two on my left rod, three or four on the middle rod of something, and all the rest on the right hander. That one was on the right hand rod. And you're going all in with solid bags, I think, is it? Yeah, yeah. it's uh, solid just to the far bank, literally like clipping the woodwork on the opposite bank. But it's just really awkward. There's, I've got a, 
got a very tight corner. Um, even though the swim looks lovely, like you look in, you're like, oh yeah, there looks like you could have eight rods, in like position one here, position one there. Like, looks really it screams carp. It's there's so much woodwork under the water. Um, there's old lines and there's everything. Yeah. So it's it's a case of I'm having the fish to the safest physical possible yeah. bit I can fish in the corner. So I'm cramming two rods in there. Even though I wouldn't normally do that. I'd like to fish one, dot one further up the bank. I can't physically do it because it's just. I'm, I'm going to get the bites and never land them. Yeah. So, um, yeah, basically. So, hence why I feel the right rod is getting the more bites. Yeah. Because he's sent intercepting them as they come in the fir very first corner. And the middle rod, at first, when it, it, it slowed up, it was very slow, the middle rod. Couldn't get a bite for over 24 hours. And I felt the right rod was cutting it off. But now I've got that spot rocking as well. So, it's all good. Hopefully, a few days left. So, hopefully, a few more fish then. Yeah, hopefully, mate. Yeah, uh, hopefully, catch another few big ones and I'll be yeah. round again take a bit more footage yeah well that was good because normally I don't normally get day bites in here so all mine have been um, mainly at night or very early morning so to have that one in uh, broad daylight it was sort of a bit of a bonus fish for me so yeah nice one well, well done mate well done yeah, no cheers worries. cheers mate Right, we're just gonna have a little wander around the lake today, do a bit of stalking. Know. Fish with a mate of ours. We you don't do. quite know it yet. You don't know we're coming, but we're thinking. We've heard he's a really nice bloke. He's had a few out, so once we get around here, we'll see what he's got to say. Um, I'll take the photographs, eh, for our fish? We'll soon put a stop to that. Let's see. I reckon he'll be right up for this clay. Yeah. How well do you know him? Uh, well enough. Well enough to chance it. I've been known him a couple of days. We'll see what he says, yeah? Right, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Moving in. <laughs> well, funnily enough. Doing a bit of stalking in my Yeah. Yeah, funnily enough. Sorry about that fish. Come on that way. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Clay, move that bivy over That's a bit. Move your rods, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot, eh? Taking up all my swim. <laughs> a lovely fish, look at that. Cracker, isn't it? How big's that one, Dean? Hold on, hold on, just go. 49. 49. Ugh. I catfished that last night, so I, I thought this was another one. I cranked it into the rod tip in about a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it popped up and went, oh. oh. Go on, sweetheart, have a flat there. It's only about an hour before light. Uh, I had um, five bites last night, three carp, two cats. Fucking cats were massive. Yeah. 20, 25 pound, I reckon. And keep them, though. Yeah. They don't even fight, do they? At no. least the wells gives it a little bit of, it's a bit of fun. Yeah. They just, they just spin, isn't they? It? It's got a bit of a weird that, belly yeah, thing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably strange from it, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I was cold You've last got to night. Look at Stuart's uh, heated bed yeah. system. Simon's getting one now. Mate, I, I, last last night I needed it, but yeah, then I was up cold. until well, I had bites. I had bites all the way into dark from dusk until sort of ten o'clock, and then from uh, you know I had bites all the way till about four a.m. And so, and what's the time now? Sort of six ish. Yeah, sun's <laughs> just come up. <laughs> you made some as well. I had a 38 and a half last night. Yeah. Should be put your uh, head towards me. Hold on. Go on, one more. Have another go. Go on. Why not? And again. And again. One in front again. One of those front shots because that gives you the perspective, doesn't it? Let's have a look, Russ. Oh. Stay there, sweetie. There you go. All right, that's now take time. Oh, oh, okay. Big one, big one. There she is. 
Yeah, oh, no, Hershey, you're yeah. right. You've got to get out, mate. You've got to get in these. Um, yeah, you've got to go around there already. What do you want to do? You've either got to go in, you know, you've got to get in these, mate. You, can, you won't land it from there. I've got to pull it. If it's not in there at the moment, it's outside. It is, actually. It's moving out now. Let it, let it go out. Play scaring that out, but everything else as well. Shush! Sure, sure. it, it works a treat. It's jumping around on my spot. <laughs> works a treat round our way. <laughs> Is that why I'm catching? <laughs> right. right, Russ, come up here, please, bud. And then just try and guide it underneath that other line. That's it. You've got a crank. When you're fishing it like that, yeah. they come, you've got coming to you. Yeah. Every single fish I've had from that rod, I'm wound down like that, thinking birds. You just keep going, and eventually yeah. you get them. Yeah, yeah. Right. Underneath one in, you carry it in this way. That's the first one that hasn't gone. Yeah, it's alright. Well, use the drag now, mate. Use the drag or your back one because it was locked up. Alright. As long as you keep it away from this tree. You'll be sweet. That's it. Don't, flat, don't let it flat Roger, dude. Let's hope it's one of them mother ships. He's going swimming if it is. <laughs> <laughs> Save it now, as long as you just miss that line, you'll be fine. And remember that line, it's right the way across the surface, so you can't go over the top of the line. Random minute, I changed, slightly changed that spot. That's, that ain't gonna bite for 36 hours. I slightly changed it yesterday, and it's done two bites now. See Clay, perhaps you won't go to 15. Eight's free, innit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <you're clear. laughs> Mate, it was so bad the last 36 hours, I thought someone had soaked it. <laughs> <laughs> it's painful, innit, in the morning, this sun. Beautiful, yeah. but it hurts your eyes. The shadow, he was nice. Yeah. What's that? 30 pound. Just done. I've done reasonable numbers this swim, but it hasn't done. You know, you know when it can do like 40, 40, 40, 50, 60, yeah. 40, 40. Yeah, it just hasn't done that. I've done a lot of thirty pounds this week. Yeah, a few, a few big ones as well, which yeah, you keeps got, going. Yes, decent fish thing. Oh mate, yeah, I'm moaning. I'm moaning. I, it's certainly a bloody good week, whatever way you skin it. Got the twenty in it. <laughs> It's lost weight. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a 19 now. See how he's offered his mate the rod? Yeah, he knew it was a small one. He knew he was staying in here, didn't he? <laughs> well, that's definitely a small fish bite. Rush, 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 go, go, go. <laughs> I'm on about us. If we hadn't been here, we'd have kicked him in and picked the rod up. Yeah. <laughs> Stop on a Bless it. They do hang on still, though, don't they? <laughs> Circles. Mm. Well done. Sweet. Oh, I'll grab a little eye That's it.
Right, like Clay, new swim, a little bit of stalking tactics going on now. Shh, don't speak too loud because they don't know we're here. Well, all right. We'll keep behind that bush there. I'm all right. All right. If we camouflage top, they're going to see me. No, they won't see you, mate. Anyway, we've, we've snuck round the back here. And we're now fishing a couple of rods under the golden spot tree. Look at it. <laughs> That's a graveyard for dead spots. Yeah, spot, spot graveyard. That's the cut-off point from this, this swim into 17's water. Yeah, but from swim 22, Bill. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see what happens here. It's our only hope. We live in hope. It's like a little garden gnome sitting there. <laughs> anyway, how many you had? How many you had now? What? Since Sh when? Since you got here. Since got here, oh, <laughs> one, <laughs> two. No, since you got in swim 15. Oh, none. <laughs> I think we should have got out of bed earlier. Or stayed in bed. Anyway, that's the cut-off point for this swim, that boy there. And then you got all this margin. Anyway, we chucked a couple of rods out, just picked them out along that margin there. We'll give it a few hours and see what happens. Well, we're round here in swim 15 and uh, I think I've come to the conclusion that me and Clayton ain't very good at fishing. <laughs> yeah. Well, we try a blessing, bless us both, you know. But we are absolutely crap at fishing. There's no more to say on the subject. But we're going to keep sitting here and hopefully. Hang on, hang on. He, he wants to say something now. just said that we're crap at fishing. Yeah. Well, we are. We're sit here, and what are we going to do? We're just going to confirm that we're crap at fishing. Yeah, we'll just get double confirmed, though. Yeah, we need we need confirmation that we're crap. Yeah. Don't we? Yeah, well, we try everything going, don't we? Everything we've done so far, we're crap. Hang on, let me get you in shot we're here. We're still after further confirmation. Well, <laughs> I think after this holiday here, Clay, <laughs> it's 100% confirmed. Whatever you do, you see me and Clayton going fishing, keep well away. Yeah, don't fish near us. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, there's a few guys around this lake who actually are catching a few. They know what they're right? doing, don't they? So we can't even blame the old conditions, can we? Not really, no. We can't even have the excuse of, well, nobody else caught fuck all. But as it stands, we are officially... Crap. Crap. Rubbish. Rubbish. Crap. Anyway, we've got two nights left. We're going to prove to ourselves that... We're even crapper than we are <laughs> 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 All right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I agree with you, Clay. Anyway, is this going to be is this going to be our last ever fishing trip together? No, of course you ain't. Of course you ain't. Of course you ain't. Need someone to blame, don't I, Bill? Yeah. Well, I blame you, and I blame him. Here we are again, second from last night, Friday night, me and Clayton back in the swim after having a really successful day in swim 15. We've done very well, we were very impressed with that, we still managed to catch nothing, so we got 100% record anyway when we go stalking. Uh, yeah, so final night, a uh, little bit warmer than it has been, not a lot, but we look for any single thing now that changes to give us a bit of hope that the rods are back out on the spots. Clayton's got his out, I've got mine out. Uh, the lake's full up now though, the angler's everywhere now, the line's all over the place. Yeah, there must be probably at least 22 people on here now. So that's probably 66 lines in the water at least I expect. Uh, maybe a few extra ones here and there, you never know. Um, but we live in hope. Anyway, tonight is the night, Clay. Clay's doing his dinner. Clay, what do you think for tonight then? Sorry? What do you reckon on tonight? 
was looking good, then the wind's changed. Yeah, the wind turned around, pushed straight into Clayton's side over there. It looked really good. Then two Italian, or two, whoever <laughs> <laughs> turned up in swim free, and that's it now. Me, well, basically, what happened was me and Clayton come back, wind looked good, put the rods out, the wind died, died down again. So that's about our luck anyway. But yep. what are you going to do with that knife anyway? Because you can, I don't know, but later on. <laughs> All right, then, let's hope we have one, yeah, and look forward to a nice dinner. And a little sit down, have a little drink tonight, I think. Uh, and uh, be up hopefully four or five times tonight with a few fish. Or if not, one good one for me and a good one for Clay as well, be spot on. Go. What's this Saturday morning and Adam's got his second fish of the week. Not a big one, but another one anyway. Stuart's still waiting. Oh, yeah, <laughs> desperation, isn't it? It is, mate, but we still got final 24 hours, roughly. If that. That's a good job. Have a little look in there 30, with the old camera. 34. 34 and a half. 34 and a half. 34 and a half. Well done, Ed. We'll get her up for the old camera, have a little yeah, film and then nice one. Happy days. Here we go, Adam with his 34 and a half pounder on Saturday morning at Parco. Brought a little smile with his face, been a bit of a tough one, but he's managed to nick another bite. I'll tell you what I do like to get these Nice one, well done Adam. Going that way. Tail up, lower it on your face, that's it. Yeah, just get a video of Clayton's fish he's had. <laughs> Lovely go. Yeah, right Lovely go, Steve, this one. Yeah. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, well done, Clay. Oh, that is the shortest 50 pounder in the world. What is it? It's just over 52 pounds. Yeah, stop shaking. Stick it on your head, stick it on your head like you normally do. Go on, go on put it on your head. <laughs> there you go, there you go. 52 pound on the button. 52, yeah. Well, 52 and, and bits. Yeah. 52? Yeah. Yeah. 52. <laughs> Look at the whip for that yeah. thing. Oh, it's actually got piles. Me, me and it both. Oh, there's one, one down. Big fish, isn't it? Yes, mate. Bit more water, she's all foaming yeah. up. Fifty-two pound common. Look at that. It's as deep and as wide as it is long. Twenty night for this month. Eight pm. ITV four. Season four. Big fish off. Tune in. And Bill yeah. and Clayton's video. <laughs> oh yeah, and obviously that. <laughs> yeah, YouTube. <laughs> oh. With the shape of it, isn't it? Yeah, it's <clears> cracking <throat> shape. Different. Wicked. Yeah. Oh, stay there, darling. Where's my knee? Ready? Yeah. Oh. So close. Hang on. Right. Fish that is. Sorry? Pretty big one now. Fish that is. <laughs> Nice fish that one, Dean. Well done. Thank you, mate. Yeah, I was well pleased with that. I like them gnarly looking ones. Yeah. Character. Wonder how old something like that one is over here. I don't know, mate. A bit older than the It knew where to go. Yeah. There's a dirty great, so there's two snags down there, and it, I caught it out there, and it just went straight for him. So it's. 
He knows what he's doing. Yeah, it didn't like the big commons in here. They fight hard, don't they? It didn't yeah. fight hard, but it did it in the right or wrong places, depends on which side you were on. But this thing, though, no. mate, this thing was different grade. It was like a tarpon. Totally different shape. It looks so much bigger. It's not white, though. I actually put down on my phone, when I write them down, I put question mark as in like reweigh it. Because it just looked bigger than what it is. <laughs> what it is. I'm so bad, like Stuart yesterday goes, I had a fish years ago. Uh, what you can do there if you like, yeah. Just... Ready? You've got to lift it, I know, you've got to lift it high. I'm lift it. Right. Here you go on. No, you've got, no, I'm saying, you, well, right. I can go high. I can go high. Yeah, just over 56. 56 and a half? Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much what I made it. That might be my biggest brace. Here comes the catalogue boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the same fish as you had. I don't know. It's just it's not very, white. Mine was white last yeah, time. Yeah, but remember we had yeah. her out straight away. Yeah, straight away. And this one's only been missing an hour. Do you know what? The gut is very oh. similar. Yeah. <laughs> Calm down. You can need some water on his back. Right. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> One at a time. Looks big, mate. Oh, fucking hell. Well, Higher. Higher, baby. Yeah, nice yeah. one. Yeah, you got a few there. Sure, let's have a little look at some, mate. Like a baby. Do the old baby cradle walk. Do the Kevin Ellis shot. Does he get shifted, does he? <laughs> Cuddles him. Do the old guitar look. Right, just give her a couple. I'm, I'm very close to this shelf here. What was she? 56 and all? Yeah. Right. <sighs> Lift her out, slowly. I'm gonna... Russ, could you come down here please, mate? I think I might be a little bit too far away then. I'm just zoomed in on you. Oh, have you? Yeah, so you're right. The only thing is it will lose quality. Well, we're here in Italy, and quite frankly, this is fish number 21 for me. Um, I've had a few big ones, um, and I've actually had a common bigger than this, but for some reason this one just looks bigger. This one's 56 two, uh, 56 and a half, sorry. And look at that. Absolute beastie. <laughs> and when I say it fault, I mean it fault. And it's still going. Thank you, darling. Well done. Beautiful. Cheers, mate. 50 grand a year I charge for camera, man. Yeah? yeah. A year? That's cheap. Right, I want to hit delete and all of Well done, Dean. Thank you, mate. Yeah, I'm well, up. I'm well happy with that. It's been, to be fair, actually, I've had good numbers, but the size has sort of been... You figured that there was a, a couple of big ones on the cars, you know what I mean? Yeah, and but... So, to have that with a night to go, um, and Russ is moving in as well, so... It's got to be an average stamp of £40 at least for you, isn't it? Uh, I don't know, I've had, a few, I've, had, I've had a few sort of like little stockies and stuff, but if you don't if you don't count them, then yeah, probably £40, yeah. I would have thought, so... Oh, nice Yeah, because the vast majority of the £30 have been 37 upwards. Yeah. Oh, good, having a good session, mate, and still time to go. 24 hours to go, Yeah. Mate. Yeah. And then 24 hours of driving. Yeah. Yeah, not looking forward to that bit, though. Taking the east state, you've had your arms around. I've had enough, mate, lifting all them fish up. I'll <laughs> <laughs> carry them down here for me. <laughs> <laughs> Russ is itching, nah. he's in here next. I oh, mean, me and Clay said we'd ease off a bit this week, let you boys have a bit of a go, you know. <laughs> you know what? That's gentleman like. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have done exactly the same. They're going to pump it tonight. They have a lot yeah, of I hope you do, yeah. mate. I hope you do. Fucking out of all of this lot. <laughs> oh, 
I mean, look at you, you're spot on with that every time, Dave. What's that, 190? 190 yards, that. Oh, easy. You were saying at the beginning of the week you couldn't uh, get out more than 110, so you're at up to 190 now. Master, aren't I, Bill? Yep. Anyway, seriously, this is actually the last night. We're uh, just using up our bait, just getting it out here, bit of spotting. Final fling of the dice, as they say. The strange things happened. Sooner or later, one of them fish will come along. Yeah. Let's just hey. hope it's tonight and not tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, well, if you can get back in here in October, Clay, at least you've got a baited spot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that works. This is the man with all the luck. Come on, little babies. We'll try anything now. Yeah, it's desperation. He's having double luck. Yeah, I'm out. How much is that? <laughs> oh, fair play. Right, we're just going to demonstrate uh, the new uh, carp mobile. Yeah. Hey, we're going to have a little look at that. They're gonna we're going to work around. out a way for it to get bait out for us. I yeah, don't know how we're going to yeah. do this. But but Clayton's going to take it for a little test run. Yep. It should be a very interesting new product. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, do, uh, some off -road stuff, you know, I've made some of for four years. Well, that's what I want. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Is he gone? Here we come. Yeah, oh yeah. I'll just walk. Oh, so you can charge up. Oh my god. Sure he's alone on there. Did you get He's not sure about it, is he? It's blush. <laughs> Clayton, you was a natural on it. I've got on your motorbike last week, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> I was doing wheelies when you were like, what do you think? What's up with me? What's up with the dials from here? Yeah. I don't know which is which, actually. Which is the bike, which is the bike, which is the bike, which is the bike. Well, it's the final night now. <clears throat> We're reduced to no lights, no heater. That's it. Not good. Not a lot of gear. No. Probably won't be able to see us. No, you might be able to just see my reflection. But, last chance saloon now. But you know what? There's been times like this many a time when on the final night... It can all change. Something can happen. Yeah. So, we live in hope. But you know, we've achieved what we set out to do. Yeah. We've had a nice pizza. Tomorrow. Is another day. Until good then, Clay. Good night from me. It's good night from me.